I'm together and I was I come up with when we took that road truck from Thanks Montana to, to, to Seattle. Seattle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because us taking that long drive and Ten seeing miles. those mountains and spending mm. that weekend. Mm. Mm. That's one of my favorite memories of something we want to go. Just an experience. Uh, yeah, yeah it's just an experience. Something we both experienced new you, together. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Try to answer this. We're going to the next question. But I don't want to move to the next question until Mr. Wilson comes because I want us to move at the same what, 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 time. Re recap Kevin. yours. Recap, recap your um, answer. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. You on your IGTV? You told me it's like a couple's night. I'm on, I'm on an answer. But yeah. Okay. So we're having couples night, y'all, on this Memorial Day. We don't do pagan holidays, but is this this is what everybody terms it. So we decided to do a couples night. Like it's like a, a question, like um, a couples um one on one. Yeah, questions one on one. Um I said it but I might change it. I'll, I'll... And okay, let me break it down. These are twenty questions that I got off the internet. And I just Google fun things for married couples, games. So this one popped up and it says 20 questions, a fun game for couples who think they already know everything about each other. So the first question is, what's your favorite memory of something we've done together? That's why I said mine don't change. Because I think about Time, time with you. Ooh, every every, every road trip, you know, because I think about how in the road trip do we wanna so be me. I'm I'm be real. I'm I'm be real and shout at the same time. I be doing. It. Like the pool, pool side of the road, ain't no bathroom, ain't no bathroom right, right around. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so it's got, we both use the restroom on the side of the road. Somebody got, yeah, use the bathroom. Yeah, and then, That's when, nice. when, we get, when we get, when we get, when we get hot in the corner, we can't even wait. See, that happens in a road truck. Yeah. But yeah. we can't yeah. make it to our destination a nation. or my won't. To, um, yeah, so those build road, dope the, things. The long, a long road trip is a good road trip. So those are your are your favorite memories. Yeah. Yeah, and then like you got to think about like with the road trips and stuff. It's uh, both of you are interacting with the road trip. Like that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. Because you know you're going to a destination, so both of you like, hey, yeah, you keeping that person, you know, aware right, and away. Exactly. We satisfying each other. Yeah, satisfying each other. And like you like, don't feel alone. Yeah. No. You don't feel alone. Yeah, that's right. cool. Those, yeah. those members, those members are un un unaccountable. And the thing is, like I said, sometimes they have to be like when people can't use the bathroom, they got to use the bathroom on the side of the road because they uh, you can't make it to a restaurant. Right, right, right. So that that's okay, baby. Do you want to answer the question, Yolanda? Okay. So Yolanda, what is your favorite memory of something that you've done with your husband? Yeah, what have y'all done together? Let me, let, hold on. Kevin. Time out. Let me, let me get Mr. Wilson. He might be sweet. Sweet. Come here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get married, too. Yeah, I get you one. <laughs> shot, shot. Hey, yeah. you, you got another shot? Instagram live, and you talking about shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shot, shot. Mm. Shot, shot, let it all out. Keep it classy, baby. Keep it classy. Shot, shot, let it all out, baby. The monster, he don't Tears. care. Yeah, Tears of Fear, baby. Tears of Fear. Tears of Fear. Tears of Fear. Tears of Fear. Mr. Wilson, thank you so much. Thank you. I know it's so hard getting you away from your poker. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so, I'm trying, I thought of something. Remember I told you when you were talking to a mom out yesterday day that I was going to come up with something that we can do? Right. So, I come up with it. So, I've Googled, and of course, we got to set the tone. I got to have some sage. I think my sage is going to say burn. Burn. No, it don't. So, I've Googled things for married couples to do. You know, because I don't like doing the same mundane, mundane things when y'all come. I don't want us to be, like, playing cards. I don't want to be listening to music all night. I don't want us talking all night. Right. kind of want to break that monotony, right? So, Saging. I come up. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I come up with on this internet, it's, it's 20 questions for couples. And just basically see how well you know your partner, that's it. Basically. I, 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 basically. And I, and I asked so, I might have answered the question. I'll let him re answer so you can hear, but my we don't need the long version. Mm -hmm. We don't need the long version. That's how I feel. No. no, you answer Jerry. You answer yours. You answer Jerry, but Kevin here to answer. I'm going to let you answer it one more time. Then you're only going to go. Then I go, then Kevin go. Yeah. What's your favorite memory of something we've done together? Me? I, I, I did a like, Really? I, 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 you said a road trip. I know I know taking out trips. I know, and, uh, okay. Going some places. Like, introducing me. You introduced me to a new place. I didn't because that's new, new, new place. We just enjoyment because shit, we can do something new, you know. Right. And 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 back then, before the shit happened, like the COVID nineteen or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like watching the basketball game, you know what I'm saying? In Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Fish the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so we're doing things like that. So. so, Yolanda, what is your favorite memory of something that you have done with your husband, Kevin? Mm. Mm, let's see. It's so much. Memory. I know it's hard when you're dealing with someone. I'm trying to think of all the memories. I can say, like, um... Uh, my favorite memory, like when we first seen each other for the first time, like gotcha. That, that was the favorite. Favorite. Gotcha. Mm. Interesting. Cheryl, what's what's happening? Talk what's your favorite memory? To be honest, she it she was, took she, yours. She kind of stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I but it's, I mean, it's so many because it's, maybe it's, it's the so same, many. it's the same. Right, but it, 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 I mean, it's so many you can mm -hmm. name more, even with the time once once we got married. She got real then, right? I mean, it was like all, your it whole was already, wedding. It was already real, and the wedding was real, but it just the the, the connection that we had <clears throat> when we were standing on the podium. Gotcha, before the priest and before all your family and just friends. Just me and her moment, at yeah. that moment. Eye to eye. Eye to eye, right. Gotcha. That is a nice moment. Right. See, I've never had a wedding. Right. So. You ain't spoke. You ain't said nothing. Okay, so my favorite memory of something we've done together is basically, it piggybacks off of yours. I said when we did a road trip from Montana to Seattle. When we mm -hmm. saw the mm -hmm. beautiful, nice mountains, um, all those experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I thought with you first, so I'm gonna switch it up. Yolanda, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would that be and why? Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Well, to be honest, at, at first I, I always wanted to go to Italy, but now that I'm finding myself more. I want to go to Africa because I feel like I resonate um, more with people from over there. Gotcha. I'm still connected. Good connection. Connection. Yeah. Okay, I'm right. Um, it's on camera. I'm trying. I'm trying to zigzag. Okay, come on. Same, same question, right? 
Mm, if you could travel anywhere in the world, yeah. what would that be? Uh, why? You know, I, I would actually want to go to Jerusalem. Hmm. Um, why? So far on a, a spiritual yes. reason. Spiritual, yes. More of a spiritual journey, yeah. Gotcha. I got to go to the home team, you know. Oh. All right, man. We're just not going right. to be okay. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm good right now. Mr. Wilson, you can travel anywhere in the I world. Where would that right. be and why? I think it would, it would be Africa also because um, not only that. I think I can, you know, learn, learn more culture wise. I think it, I, I would like to experience their um, healing properties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From more, uh, mm -hmm. on a more spiritual side and mentally side. All know, right. Kind of okay. Person. Okay, brother. That this that's deep, so it's more like a spiritual thing too. Well, yeah. it, it, both kind of, of kind of. Kind of. Just, yeah, really just yeah. you know, body healing. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. Those I got natural you. healing gotcha. properties they have yeah. over there. You know, mm -hmm. Exactly. Because yeah, like that, they pretty much blend in with my DNA. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. of ours. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I want to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because I love seeing like a. a I love exotic animals, like animals that I just cannot just see here naturally. All right. Like, I want to see a gazelle. I mean, a I could see it in Africa, a too. I want to see a kangaroo. I, yeah, I just go. want to be one with that environment. Do you want to touch it? You know what? In a safe place, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would. Like, if they're behind a fence. What about them all? What's called? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of... Um, like uh, snakes? No, 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 not snakes. The um, and 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 oh, and and, and, and the what's called? Yeah, Kangaroo. No, 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 no. no, no. What, what they do? Small them, the small little things. They, they uh, I can't think of the name. What they they do? fly, they crawl in no, no, water. They, 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 no, 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 no. I forget. I forget. They are. They are like. It's okay, baby. So Kevin. Yeah, What's I can't think of the name on, but they they're like they are creatures. That they um they're, they are creatures. Yeah. Y'all have to excuse him. No, I don't know. Like she's on Instagram. Yeah, we'll come back to it. <laughs> If anybody watching know what he's talking about, please let us know. Not kangaroos, though. Yeah. Well, Mr. Wilson, yeah. Time yeah. Yeah. Kevin, what things in your life bring you the most joy? What things in my life bring me the most joy? Mm -hmm. And even more than one because it has, it's plural. It said things. But yeah. It don't have to be one thing. I mean, if you want to name one, you can. If you want, to, if it's more than one, then that's fine. Um, I'm gonna start with people. Um, I, I have um a selective of people in my life that really bring me joy that I really live for. Um, oh, that's so nice. Places. I love fishing. I love that's, that. That gives me a peace of mind. Um. um some self time and all, and um, of course, hey, I need money. <laughs> right, that brings you joy, money. money. Right, because it gets you other things. So yeah, hey, they help that protect, bring that joy. I mean, that's what society is um, is about. So that's you know, hey, make yeah. the world go round. Right. Okay, I'll answer a second. Things and what things in your life bring you the most joy? Peace brings yeah, me the most yeah, joy. Yeah. I, I love peace and, and positive energy. Those two things bring me the most joy. And of course, my husband. Oh. Honestly, real talk. Like, seriously, my bring me a lot of joy. And that, and that goes to, like you say, people in your life. Right friends like I have good friends like you two here tonight so it is a lot of things that do bring me joy but to just just sum it up you know quick peace I love peace 
positive energy, my husband, friends, family. All those things bring me joy. Mm, that's why I said it's on people. Yolanda because I'm, I'm zigzagging. I'm not going couple couple. I'm going like one like zigzag. So Yolanda, what things in your life bring you the most joy? Um, I have to say peace and security. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get because that. I'm a realist. Mm-hmm. And people are gonna be people, and I only trust myself. Mm-hmm. So with that, I just say, you know, peace, peace and security. Last but not least, Mister Smith, what things in life bring you the um, most joy? Joy is seeing other people. Me. Yeah, I say what brings you yeah, the most joy. I, I I love seeing other people happy. If I if I can just live off of other people, like honestly, I have no truth, no faith in anything. If Yolanda, if I see you smile, if I can make you smile, if I can make you smile, if I can make you smile. That brings you joy. That brings me joy. Gotcha. That's strong. That's that's my mm-hmm. that's my joy. If I can do that. Right. I, I, I get my strength from you. Gotcha. That that's that's, that's my joy. That's deep, man. Mm-hmm. That's true. Anything else? That's it? That's it. Okay. That's it. So, I'll go back on your mind. What do you like best about me? I like love. The question is like, well, you can put okay. love. Okay. What do you like best about me? Well, like a lot. Um, you you are gonna bring me you, and I I tell you that, and that's how I feel about everybody that I deal with. Give me the truth. You no, know, you give me you, you don't you you're a furious. You that bell. You that bell. I need. I need a bell. And you are that person that give me your heart. I need, I need somebody with a strong heart. Because sometimes I'm weak, you know? Sometimes I get weak. I get real weak because I'm so sincere. My sincerity makes me weak. That's strong. You ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be out. You're gonna be right there. You're hard. You're hard. You're hard. You're hard. You're hard. Like drill sergeant. Yeah, you're, you're hard. You're, 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 you are so, Mr. Wilson, what do you like best about Yolanda? When we have a when, when we have a good connection, when we have a good understanding, when we are on one accord, um, makes me happy. Gotcha. That's what you like best about her. Mm-hmm. So we gotta go to me. So what I like best about you? You are very patient with me. And that says a lot. Because I know sometimes I can be a handful. And he is very patient. Like, women, y'all know, like, when we go into, like, department stores, we got to try on this, we got to try on that, we got to go over here, go over there. He never rushes me. Like, he never be like, God dang, like, Dang, you you still in this store, or or you you still ain't finished? Like he never gives me, like her 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 her. He's always patient, and that's that that's a lot of that people don't have is patience. Yeah, and you gotta have that when you're in a relationship. Absolutely, you gotta have patience. So that's what I love. Um, the the I like best love the best about um you a lot. Uh-huh. And the way you love me, those two things. 
Yep. So, Miss Yolanda, what do you like slash love best about Kevin? <clears throat> what I like the most about Kevin is he has a good heart. People understand, man, having a good heart, that speaks volumes. That's, that's, that's a lovely, lovely thing, right? Right. A lot of people are cold hearted. They don't mm -hmm. have a heart. They're mm -hmm. heartless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that, that's deep. So I'm going back on you, Yolanda. If you could spend a whole day doing something you love, what would that be? Laying on the oh. laying on the. If she could spend a whole day doing something she loved, what would that be? <clears throat> mm. It'll be laying on the beach with the sun, sun gazing or something. Then your vitamin D, you always think about. Mm, that's <laughs> the only thing. Like you just having that serenity. Right. That's a damn pepper. Yeah, you go ahead, Mr. Um, Wilson. Fishy. I yeah. knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'll be right there fishy like you lying. All day long. All day long. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, my, what would you be doing? Honestly, mm, that's a damn That's a hell of a question. All day, the whole day, spend the whole day doing something. You love, what would that be? Really? Then I can understand when you say it's a hell of a fine question because if I mean I love fishing, but if I could be making money, I would prefer right, to be right, making money. You know what right, I'm saying? But right. just as hobby wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. something you love exactly. Right. I'm gonna be real, holding you and looking you in your eyes. That's you what you want to do. I'm holding on. I'm good. This the next key sweat. Y'all see him? You see him? Make it last forever. <laughs> Rosa, goodness gracious, boy, you pulled that out, boy. Where that one came from? Somebody look behind the pillars over there. Somebody whispering that shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay now. Nah. <laughs> doing something that I love, what would that be? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I just love just listening to just soft mellow music. Like like with the candles burning, my incense burning, my um sage burning. I could do that just all day, just relaxing. And just clear my mind and just get on that higher just level. That's that that's what I can do all day. But mm -hmm. I can't we gotta work and make that money, right, Kevin? Right. So so if I didn't have a right making that money, that's what I would could do all day. So I start this one. What's the most important thing that your mom taught you? To be independent. Mm. To not depend on anyone to be independent. That's the most important thing that my mom taught me. Yeah, okay, Wait, baby, what are you jumping in? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to go to pay. What you Okay, what is the most important thing yeah, that, that your mom taught oh, you? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, who who want to go in first? Yeah, y'all can jump. Who, who want to go? I mean, I can't go okay. in. It, it is. It's really hard to choose from, right? Because my mom really taught me everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, especially about life and, and your people and your, I mean just everything. Yeah. But the one thing she taught me is about um, being right. You know, um, regardless of the situation, um, if you're wrong, you're wrong. Yeah. Regardless of who you are, right? right. If you're right, yeah. you're right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it, so it, basically, it, right from wrong. Right. There's no picking your sides when it comes down to being right. You know what I'm saying? If you're wrong, you're wrong. Right. That's a good lesson to be, to be taught because you look at the youth of today, you want, you want to look, yeah, clearly their look. parents aren't teaching them right from wrong. I mean, it's no, the, they uphold them in the they wrong. They uphold them, they right wrong right, well. No discipline, you know? it, it's no discipline of, of, of being yourself once you've grown up in life. You right. know what I'm saying? Because you don't even 
you, you'll go out and do something wrong mm-hmm. when you, and, and, and want to fight to the to the end to feel like you're right. Like you're right when yeah, you're wrong. You're right. right. You know, and that's not what Not getting a solid foundation. So, that's know, a good my one. My mom always taught me no matter who you are, um, you could be wrong, you could be right. But if you're wrong, you need to come straight up. And, and own up. Yeah, yeah right. Own, own up to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because wow. that being wrong is... I mean, continue to fight is not going to do nothing but cause the situation to be worse. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, I exactly. Mean, that, I, and I give an example for life for my sisters, of my mom, you know what I'm saying? Even for my wife, you know, um, if she's wrong, if they're wrong in any place, you know, I'm, I'm not going to correct not one of, neither one of those um, people that I've just announced in front of nobody. But when it comes down to it, I'm not going to fight to the end. I'm gonna get with them one on one because I'm not finna downsize them in front of nobody. Right. So I'm gonna get with them one on one and say, hey, look, you I don't wrong. feel like that was right. Gotcha. And that's how my mom taught me to do oh, it. You know what I'm saying? You don't publicly shame or humiliate someone. That, especially that you love. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you do do on the, on the other side. If you don't let them know where they're wrong at, then and you upholding their wrong, then that that means you 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 love them less than what you say. Right. And they'll continue whatever behavior right. that is because I, you I, didn't I, tell them it was wrong. Right. She. Yeah. My mom always displayed her love by letting me know when I was right and when I was wrong, because it, regardless of how much she said um she loved me, you know uh if I was she held me up in my wrongness, then um she didn't felt like she she wouldn't be showing love. Right. Because she would be leaving me out there in a blind world. I mean, in the world with, like, being blind. Oh, absolutely. Right. Because so. the world going to definitely tell you when you're right or you're wrong. <laughs> you're going to be held that. accountable. Right. Whether you really know that you is right or wrong. So, that was it. You're under a mind. Who want to go next? Long. That was a good one. Yeah. Long. So, Miss Yolanda, what's the most important thing that your mom taught you? to be independent and the reason why I got taught to be independent because you had no other choice but to depend on yourself. Gotcha. That's the only thing. Gotcha. Well, my, what did your mom, the most important thing that your mom taught you? Um, really? Honestly? Um, then it's taught me to not to It, it was kind of chaotic. I'm gonna be quick. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Well, if you you have anybody to rely on, you got to rely on yourself. So you got to learn to be yourself spiritually and all that stuff. It's just you. You just own you. You do it. You you do it and make it happen. Yeah. Ain't no bad with that. You know what I'm saying? When when he comes to your life, you still got you know, respect him honest you know, honestly and all that kind of stuff, but no. I'm gonna let this happen. I've been a man, man. I, I was born a man. Like I say, I, I tell you all the time, I was born a man. People don't understand that. Man, I, I made myself me. I ain't perfect. I'm gonna I'm, I'm live and learn every day. <coughs> My strength comes from, from within. And that's what Miss Janice taught you. Yeah. She ain't teach me that. I taught myself that. So, <laughs> so what's the most important thing that she taught you again? Your strength. I'm, be strong. I'm, yeah, strong. Build, build upon yourself. To depend on yourself. Yeah. Basically, be independent. Yeah, yeah. Build upon yourself. You know what I'm saying, something. I'm gonna say this right here for a majority. I don't know in other households and stuff like that, but we from the south. Majority of us, everybody was taught to be independent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you ain't wasn't taught to be independent, then you are independent on somebody else. Right. And I mean, being related, um. My mom pretty much taught me independent, but the really being out here living in this world taught me to be independent. Yeah. Because my mom was always there for me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And she taught that. me to the point of right and wrong and everything. Yeah. But when I got out in the world of being an adult, 
then it was it wasn't to the point of being easy of having, you know, when you didn't get for yourself because there ain't nobody giving you shit. Right. Make yourself a man. So life right. is a teacher. Exactly. Make yourself a man. Right. So it, it, there, there, there's no, there's no, there wasn't. Who who to blame? Yourself. Who who you gonna blame? You blame nobody because you making yourself somebody. So and that's what you blame because you always have your own decision. Yeah. So that's you, you true. Know I mean, you have a decision whether you know um, back to the point of not depending on nobody. Yeah. You, have the decision, you, you know, bring yourself up. When I see that man got, I'm not jealous because that man got. You know, I'm looking at the fact that thing. How can I get? Oh, uh, uh, I know that I'm capable of getting. Of getting the same thing, right? So gotcha. you know, it's a point of being on independent. That's what the world have taught me. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And the thing is, and and the thing, being real, like saying, like you know what? Okay, but I see better of that guy. All this stuff on him. Not to be jealous of him, but he got it. You know what? I can get it. And, and and I don't even, I ain't looking at riches because riches is in the Bible. I'm gonna tell you something, what riches is. Riches is having your own, living righteously. Now I'm gonna got you know, live how how, how how God and Jesus want me. I'm gonna walk this walk and talk this talk. Now I'm living righteously. All right, that's what I'm saying. So it's not good. We gotta get to a lot of questions. You asked the question about what is your mom teaching? Therefore. So, what big dream do you most want to pursue? Me, big dream. What big dream do you most want to pursue? I just want to open everybody's heart up and live, live, live God. Lee. God, Lee. Gotcha. And for everybody to make it. I know they can't make everybody can make it, but I want everybody to make it. That's your big dream. You want to make Yeah, gotcha. everybody make it. I'm through. So you're going to Kevin. <clears throat> what big dream do you most want to pursue? I mean, uh, I would like for me and my wife for for me. I would like for me and my wife to be able to like be sus more successful at our business and to expand into um, other businesses um, as in um, community centers and um, be able to go back and help our community out, you know, um, keep around the place that we live at or where we're from. That's good, giving back to the community. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm. Yo, just on that still, that, that. Yeah, I have to play for a song, baby. Yeah, I um the biggest dream.